Hey boys, welcome back to some more Sean Johnson career mode. Still in the Four Nations and we're coming in first and we're taking on Scotland, which came as a bit of a shock to me. And the other shock is that Scotland are in third spot, so they, <laughs> they beat England, which is hilarious. But we'll have a look at their side. They've got McManus, um, they got a couple other guys, Kane Lynette. I think Joe Wardle plays in um, England, Denny, uh, Denny Bruff, Peter Wallace, you know, a couple of, a couple of guys here. Um, I think a lot of the other guys are just user generated because obviously these minnow nations aren't aren't licensed in the game. Uh, like obviously New Zealand, Australia, all those all those type of teams. Uh, they couldn't get the licensing for all of them, but the uh, so you know the the custom jerseys and just the uh, generated teams. But the thing with Scotland, I was surprised when it was Scotland because it's usually Papua New Guinea's usually the. Uh, the other team that qualifies, or well, not really, uh, is the Four Nations even like a, it's not really like a qualifier, is it? It's Peter Wallace, I think it is, kicks a bloody 40-20, so Scotland have a really good chance to attack it, and that's going to score straight away, so Joe Wardle goes in for the opening try, and uh, Scotland putting up a bit more of a match than pretty much Australia and England did, so could it actually be a tough game? But yeah, is the Four Nations usually like a qualifier? Because it, it, it's always just Papua New Guinea that get to play in it. But for some reason in this career mode, the Four Nations, it's, uh, it's Scotland. So maybe it is a, um, some sort of a, uh, uh, what's it called, qualifier. Maybe it's just the they uh, the top ranking teams, like the four top ranking teams. As Peter Hollis is going to score another try. Maybe we should focus on this game. Scotland is kicking our asses. You know, we haven't actually played that badly. Uh, it's just uh, Scotland have been all over us. They've had all the all the good field position and uh, they've run right. So we're going to make a bit of a men straight away. Really nice play there. I think it was Alex Glenn uh, stepped around a tackler. Who is it? Alex Glenn? Yeah, looks like him. And we just uh, loom up on the inside there. Uh, have a bit too much pace for the covering defense. The fullback didn't quite get across. And it's going to be a try to Sean Johnson. Just... Uh, just continuing our stellar form in this four nations. Scotland have uh, have come out of the blocks fast, but I wasn't I wasn't too concerned. We do miss the kick, so uh, the kick though, so that's a little bit of a bit of a sour spot. But I wasn't overly concerned because I know we have the points in this uh, New Zealand lineup. But you know it is by condition, so we don't want to get to uh, to too big a deficit. As uh, Scotland get another chance to uh, mount some pressure, a big, uh, another big set gained as they put up another contentious bomb right there. Well taken. It looks like Greg Eastwood takes that one, and we try to work it our work it away from our end. And <laughs> we are going to throw another intercept. Kane Lynette is going to score. I forgot all about this. I forgot about it. We've, we've done it in every single game. We did it against England, Australia, and now Scotland. And Okay, so the first two games when I threw the intercept, it, it, it wasn't actually like a really bad pass, in my opinion. I thought the pass was actually pretty good. It could have been a try to us. It was just a bit unlucky. That one right there, though, that was absolutely shocking. I definitely shouldn't have, um, definitely shouldn't have thrown that ball. It was a bit of, uh, I don't know, maybe a bit of panic from, from myself. You know, we were down by a fair bit, and I was trying to trying to make something happen at the end of this uh, end of this first half and it's gone against us so 18-4 down at the halftime break we're gonna have to come out of the gate strongly and we try an early tackle kick here trying to get it to sit up in the end goal unfortunately it's not gonna quite do that it's gonna trickle over so not a great start by us but as you see 50 minutes gone we are uh, we really need to uh, uh, make some inroads put up a pretty nice bomb and it's gonna be Jason Tamalolo there just runs through, takes it cleanly off the on the half volley, and scores an tr unbelievable try. It was a really nice bomb. It was weighted perfectly, and I guess in these windy, wet conditions, the fullback and winger didn't want anything to do with it. But they just uh, they just let Tamalolo just score a very, a very sneaky try off a midfield bomb. So a uh, bit of bit of luck going our way, which is nice. Still eight points down though, so. We do need to score a couple more times as a beautiful... Look at that flick pass with that two of our check. That was... Actually, I think it was Luke. That was incredible. Didn't quite eventuate into too much, but it looked pretty flashy. 
the rain has actually eased off, so that's that's good for us. We definitely play better in the nice dry conditions. Uh, the pitch will definitely be a bit bit wet underfoot, so hopefully it won't hinder us too much. As looks like the front rower there almost scores, held up over the line, last tackle here. See what we can do. And we for some reason pass the ball to Tuvashek, who puts the ball up. And we were calling for the pass. I didn't mean to steal, as we are going to score off another bomb. Um, I didn't actually mean to hog the try. You're going to think I'm I'm just, <laughs> I'm just uh, stealing all the tries. But I was calling for the pass because I wanted to put a kick in. But Tuvashek ended up kicking it. So, uh, who is that? Kenny Dale or Lewis Brown, maybe? Uh, went up and caught the bomb. And because I already put the uh, input to call for the pass, he passed it back to me. And thankfully, we scored because... We almost bombed it. We got tackled over the line, but thankfully, we were able to power our way over and plant the ball down as uh, we're straight through here. Surely no one's going to catch us, but the covering defense on Skolan was actually pretty good there. We had to cut back inside because he was going to catch me, and then straight through the middle off the next play, pretty much. Just a bit, uh, a bit lazy from the Scottish there, and we made a huge, huge ground that set, put up another bomb, and it's going to be Greg Eastwood this time to score. I mean, uh, playing this game, I thought that we came back pretty well, and I thought we played pretty good. But looking at this game and commentating over it, I gotta say, we were pretty damn lucky to get back into this game like we have. Soon to be 22-18. All of our tries, actually, three of our tries have been from from bombs. So, that's uh, that's pretty unusual, as the rain has come back pretty, pretty heavily at the moment. And we're going to get a bit unlucky here. For some reason, the ref has called that we played at that, that kick. So, the Scottish got a bit of a chance there. But, about 10 minutes to go. Jason Nightingale fends off one there. We're straight through. We're going for the corner. Inside out. <laughs> we put the ball over the fucking sideline. Oh, this wasn't, wasn't the best game for, for Johnson. It was nice work. Nightingale did beautifully. And then we did well to cut back on uh, for the corner post. But we just, uh, we just bombed it. We bombed an absolute absolute sitter of a try and we do give the Scotland team here another chance to to do something is they're throwing the ball around there they're just they're playing some razzle dazzle throwing it around you know Scotland have a chance to actually proceed into the finals honestly if they beat us then um then there's a there's a big chance that they could actually sneak in and make the finals so this is a big game for them imagine that Scotland New Zealand in the final as we try for a 40-20, it's just going to miss. We just, we really didn't have too much luck. Actually, I don't know why I'm saying that. We got, we got three tries from bombs. We had plenty of luck, but that kick was a pretty nice kick. It just didn't get the bounce we wanted. But unfortunately for Scotland, uh, all their hard work, it's not going to amount to a victory. Uh, at the end of the day, we just had a bit too much firepower. A bit of luck went our way, and we came away with the win. So a nice, a nice win, a bit of a tough game. Uh, c compared to those other two, it was a very tough game. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.